This is 1956 D penny. In circulated, very fine condition, slightly tarnished Lincoln sand that displays doubling on the left color. Several nicks and dents show up on the right rims. Copper surfaces devoid of luster have turned darker. Some circulation wear is seen on the wheat ears on reverse. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1956 D-Link is a common in MS66 condition or lower. In MS66 Plus, it's very much difficult to find. In MS67 condition, it is scarce, but enough examples have been found to keep prices affordable for most serious Link Sand collectors. MS67 Plus examples or higher are almost unheard of and are extremely scarce. The most valuable specimen in Mean State 67 Plus Red was sold for $18,000 in 2022 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with this uncirculated superb gem, 1980D Susan B. Anthony Dollar. The coin is vibrant with copper nickel luster. Inner core of these marvelous coins is composed of pure copper center. The copper nickel outer layer gives the coin its silvery appearance, while the copper core provides structural integrity. This one is most likely in MS64 or 65 condition. Several bag marks would prevent it from higher grade, if graded. MS67 specimen commands premiums at auctions. For example, this 1980D Anthony Dollar at given grade was bargained for $1406 at Great Collections Auction. Moving on with this 2016 Lincoln Sand in lower mint state, red specimen with massive carbon explosions and several large freckles across the surfaces. Strike is tech sharp surfaces are lustrous with light cartwheel effect. Reverse side of this shield penny exhibits sharply detailed device elements as well. Just very light softness is evident on states off. The 2016 P. Lincoln Sand is very common as the mint struck over 4.5 billion examples. Examples up to MS67 are fairly easy to obtain. Anything grading higher is much scarcer and much more expensive. The most expensive specimen in MS68 condition fetched the sum of $900 on eBay. Here is 1986 Washington Quarter with mint mark P. P stands for Philadelphia Mint. This circulated specimen hasn't seen too many pockets while in circulation as contact marks are minimal. Philadelphia Mint produced over 504 million copper nickel clad quarters in 1986 and therefore purchasing uncirculated examples for less than $10 should not be a problem at all. But in Mint State 67 and higher they command but in Mint State 67 or higher they command premiums. Currently guiding price for MS67 gem is around $500 as for PCGS price guide. This is an enchanting proof quarter 2012 as Washington quarter with L. Young reverse. This specimen is in deep cameo condition for sure as it displays mirror-like fields and frosty reliefs. These balls have stark contrast between each other, surfaces are neatly preserved, all reliefs display sharply defined motifs and no obvious contact marks are seen on either side. I believe this one can be graded PR68 if not PR69 by Sheldon Coin Grading Scale. Next, a bicentennial Eisenhower dollar, the 1976 Eisenhower dollar had a one-year reverse design displaying the Liberty Bell as well as an image of the moon as a background. 1976 Eisenhower dollars were actually struck in 1975 but had the date of 1976 on the actual coins. With a mintage of little more than 4 million, the 1976 Type 1 is a scarcer variety from the Type 1 and Type 2 variations struck this year. It's pretty to distinguish them just by paying attention to shape of letter S on upper lettering. As you can see our coin displays thin letters, so it fall into the second type category. The Type 2 examples in main state 6 to 7 are very scarce and guiding price is over $2500.
This is 2016 P. Washington Quarter with Harps Ferry Reverse, about uncirculated specimen displaying sharply detailed device elements and nickel gray reflectivity on both sides. US Mint produced over 434 million of them, so even in superb gem condition like MS67, they are worth just little more than $50. If you have rare US coins, you can always post them for sale on our website. Watch this video till the end to get link for the coin trading platform. We can showcase your coins there for free. Here is 1995D Jefferson Nickel in extremely fine condition, also circulated it features sharp stripe. We almost see a full steps on porch of Monticello. If grabbed from circulation in time it would be enchanting specimen and could command a premium. Obverse reliefs are sharply impressed as well. Look at the motifs of the hair on Jefferson's bust. In MS66 condition with full steps, these nickels are worth around $50. In MS67 condition, over $1,000, as for PCGS price guide. This is 1978 Lincoln and Cent in circulated brown condition. This penny is in very fine condition. Surfaces of a verse have several distracting contact marks, including several gouges here and there. Reverse side displays poor strike, it must have been impressed by a deteriorated die. Most details of memorial are soft, Lincoln's statue is almost invisible. In higher uncirculated red condition, these copper cents command premiums. For example, MS67 gems are worth around $200. Anything higher than MS67 is considered scarce to rare. The most valuable specimen according to PCGS in MS67 Plus condition ended up selling for $4,259 in 2014 at Heritage Auctions. This is uncirculated 2001 Sacagawea dollar. A superb gem most likely in mint state 65 if not 66. This Indian woman dollar displays pinpoint striking details, immaculate and lustrous surfaces throughout, both on obverse and reverse. In MS66 conditions, they are valued at $10. MS68 is the highest grade certified by PCGS for $2,001 and guiding price is $265. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please smash subscribe and notification buttons below this video to help us grow and reach much wider audience. Here is 1964 silver Kennedy off dollar coin is in about uncirculated condition with some pale mint luster and light cartwheel effect. Metal composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Silver is sensitive to oxidation, so if exposed to air or humidity for too long, coins made of silver can develop toning over time. In MS66 condition, they are worth around $100, in MS67 around $700, and in MS68 condition worth over $4,000. Moving on with this Bicentennial Quarter, 1976 Washington Quarter in circulated condition. The 1976 Washington Quarter holds special significance as it was minted to commemorate the bicentennial anniversary of the United States of America. It was produced as a part of the Bicentennial Quarter program which aimed to celebrate the 200th anniversary of America's independence. While millions of Bicentennial Quarters were produced, their unique design and historical significance makes them sought after by collectors today. The value of 1976 Washington Quarter can vary based on its condition mint mark and composition. Collectors often look for well-preserved uncirculated specimens or coins with special attributes such as full luster and minimal wear. MS68 specimens are extremely rare and guiding price for those is $4,250 according to PCGS price guide. That's all for today. See you in the next episode.